Dean Mania. Okay, I think I am live. Might be a bit of a delay. I'm just waiting for the notification. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I just wanted okay. to pop on here to show you how I kind of bust my creative block. And I thought I'd go f live for the first time and try and show you how I do that. So I picked up this book here. I honestly, I just got it from, um, where did I get it from? I got it from Valu Village, also known as Value Village. Someone had um, this book and they had done a few doodles in it and I just took out the pages that they um, doodled on and yeah, so I am just kind of reusing it and I'll show you what I had done for my first um, kind of creative block session. I was feeling like I couldn't get things figured out in my head on how to create something and so I saw on um, YouTube somebody else had done sort of the same thing in which they were creating um, just kind of uh, calling them junk journals or scrap journals and I thought I'd create my own and it really helped to kind of get the creative juices flowing for me so um, not only am I I started off with my um, red page here I want to do a rainbow page and that will or a rainbow book that will help me kind of get the feeling for the different colors and things that I want to use and so how I started off was I just basically went through magazines and the ones that I had on hand I got from uh, friends who dropped them off thank you uh, to Karen Lee who dropped them off at my house as well as getting some from uh, Valu Village I just got some National Geographics and I went ahead and just kind of ripped out stuff that had the color that I wanted. So of course these pages here are red and so I have some kind of red words, um, some words that were kind of conducive to how I was feeling at the time. So I was like, I have a big problem, I don't know how to start and I was feeling kind of lost. And um, in the end, I think it was a really fun, very therapeutic um, way to get the creative juices flowing. So today I want to go ahead and um, go from my red page and I want to go um, on to the next rainbow color which is orange. So I've gone through kind of my stash of scraps as well as my magazines and I've pulled out just literally um, stuff on pages or um, scrap papers that I have or scrapbooking papers that have orange in them and I've just gone ahead and pulled them out and I'm going to see what I can create by gluing these down to my pages. As you can see, they're literally just scraps of stuff that I have used. And yeah, so let's kind of get started and see what we can create. Now there's no rhyme or reason to this. Um, we don't want to overthink it. We just kind of want to have fun and let the process take us through to whatever we create. I'm just going to be using a glue stick and some white glue for my project today, nothing special. I have some scissors and yeah, let's get started. So um, I'm just going to go through. I see that on this piece of paper, I, I love this. I thought this was so pretty with the different colors, but I can see that there's some orange here. So let's just go ahead um, and let's just rip it. Let's go ahead and just rip this orange. And so I can use this piece here for when I want to do yellow. I can use this here for when I want to do pink. I've already done my reds, but maybe if I want to use brown down the road. Um, yeah, so we'll just save that and put it in my scrap pile. And what else do I have? I have these really pretty kind of orange sunflowers. So um, I think I just am going to rip this as well. You can use your scissors too if that's more comfortable for you. I'm just going to just rip some of this out and then I'm just going to start kind of laying it out on my page. Hopefully you can see that. 
And let's see what else we have. We have some really pretty orange leaves here. I think these are kind of delicate, so I think I'll go ahead and cut these out. Kind of in the orange-red line, but that's okay. Just quickly cut that. Nothing really special here, just going to quickly fussy cut around. So if anybody's watching, tell me what you're up to on this Saturday night. I had a really nice dinner with my family and we played a game of Clue. And then now I just kind of wanted to try out live for the first time and see how that went now that I have everything set up. And I have my wonderful mom here helping me out for my first live. Thank you so much, Mama Bear, for being here with me. Appreciate you. She's always so helpful. She helped me go through and kind of eye up some oranges in my stash of things. I think I want to rip that. So my mom's going to moderate for us today, make sure everything's going all right. Thumbs up there, Mama Bear. Everything looking okay for my first time live? I got this tiny little orange here. Maybe I'll go ahead and cut him out. And let's see, look at this. This picture is just gorgeous. I think it is so beautiful. And I want to use all of it, but I don't know. Maybe I can, maybe I'll glue most of it down and then I can put other things over top and leave, leave some things peeking through. I'll kind of cheat. But really you want to use kind of some bits and bobs on here. All right. It has been super cold where we are today. We're not used to this winter weather. We've been really spoilt and have had some nice warmer weather. And then today it got so super cold. And I'm not sure I really want to be out in that weather. So I think I need to do lots of crafting just to stay inside and stay warm. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my ooh, glue stick. Can you guys see that okay? Is it straight on the screen there, Mama Bear? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just glue this right down onto this side. And Just cut this up a bit. Again, I'm not being too careful. This is just really just a process to kind of get the creative juices flowing. And I have, I love this, this detail of the ceiling. I don't know why, but let's cut that out. And not sure I want the words on there, so I'll cut around that. I can have that maybe up here. And maybe have the leaves coming down that way. Maybe I'll glue this piece over here. What else do we have? I have this orange of this moth. I think it's a moth. Yeah, it appears to be. Gotta love National Geographic for colorful images. But I don't know about you guys, I just kind of feel like I'm kind of in a rut creatively. And I don't know if that is from COVID, being locked up in the house, not being able to see my friends and I just really play off a lot of being able to see other people and see my friends and so that's kind of been hard. 
I'm an omnivert. I call myself an omnivert. So sometimes I'm really, really outgoing and like to be an extrovert in around people. And other times I just want to be an introvert. So yeah, I call myself an omnivert. All right, we've got this orange piece here. I don't want the page number on there. I'll cut that off. And just trim this up. So this isn't meant to be like a masterpiece. This is more for me and just to kind of get things flowing in my world. Maybe I'll put that up here. And then hopefully down the road, it'll help me in my card making process. And who knows, maybe if it does turn out really well, I can cut it up and put it on the front of a card. Go ahead and glue this bad boy down. Yes, you can call my mama bear Grandma Shirley. Everyone calls her Grandma Shirley. I've even pulled out some strips from just some regular cardstock, and maybe I'll put that along this edge. Tell me what you guys, if you're watching, tell me what you have been creating lately. I know we're kind of gearing up to Valentine's Day. And I've been making a lot of Valentine's cards and I'm hopefully going to take them into my office and let my co-workers who come in every now and then we kind of switch off going in they can go in and take a look at cards that they want and maybe make use of them yes i can see the comments you can talk mom it's okay <laughs> you don't have to my mom is being so polite and writing things down she's so sweet but you can talk it's fine Oh, look at this guy. I can't I, talk when I'm drinking. Well, that's true. Well, you know what? I'll have a little drink with you. We're going to cheers. Crafting is always better when you have a glass of wine or a beverage of some type, I believe. All right. But we're not doing red and white pages today, Mother. It's orange. So I don't know. What, what orange drink could we have? Oh, a screwdriver. A screwdriver. We well, could have... No, that, well, yes, orange juice. Orange, orange juice, juice and vodka. We, oh, I should have had that. That would have gone Ooh. with our orange theme. I wasn't thinking. How I got, about we do that the next time? Next time. So next time is yellow. So what could we have? Pineapple juice and coconut rum. Exactly. We yeah, do we'll that. do that next sure. time. All right, well, join us for next busting our creative block live when we do yellow and we'll have pineapple juice and coconut rum that sounds like a good idea okay let's get back to my junk page here my junk journal what do we need um oh yeah i was going to cut out this ugly look at this guy can you imagine i am arachnophobic i do not like spiders and if i came across this guy i would lose my ever loving mind that would just send me over the top Ugh. if I found this in my house burn it to the ground that's it we're moving do I even want to put them on yeah let's put them on there kind of looks like he has little crab legs that's scary you pinching me pinching me in my sleep oh I was telling my mom I had this dream last night I had the weirdest dream well, it wasn't a really weird dream, but what happened was weird. So I had a dream last night that I was playing. My kids actually have um, BB guns. And for some odd reason, my husband lets them shoot them downstairs in our unfinished basement and shoot them at targets. Well, unfortunately, my crafting area is also downstairs. So um, I have to be really careful when I'm down here with the kids and they're shooting BB guns because sometimes ricochets happen and I end up in the line of fire inadvertently. But anyways, I had this dream last night where I was shooting BB guns with my kids and I dreamt that I got shot in the butt with a BB and didn't really think anything of it when I woke up. I'm like, okay, I, you know, had some weird dreams last night. That's fine. I was pretty tired when I went to bed, so it could be, you know, overactive imagination. But when I went to get in the shower, 
I noticed I have this bruise that's like this big on my butt where I dreamt I got shot. How weird is that? I have no idea how that even happened, um, why it even happened. Like, I can't even think, like I didn't bump myself on anything. I don't remember bumping myself. So I don't know. Anyways, so I now have this bruise on my butt that I think, I totally think I got shot. Like, I think our dreams are parallel lives and now I was shot in my parallel life and I have a bruise in this life to show for it. I don't know. Let me guys know what you think. Have you ever had dreams like that where you dreamt that you got hurt and then woke up the next day with like a weird bruise or something? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to be using these tiny carrots. It doesn't go with any, th any theme. Again, it's just throwing things that are orange, finding things that are orange and putting them on the page. Have you had any weird dreams lately, Mom? Uh, no. No? Well, thankful. I don't know. I dream weird stuff. I've also been called um what have I not um not Doctor Death, but um I dream I dream of people passing, which is really bad. And then sometimes it happens, so yeah, I try not to dream like that too often. All right. So I've got some carrots just kind of out there. Let's put this guy, uh, what do we want over here? Maybe we'll put that over there. And what else? What else can I tell you guys? I am looking forward to when I can get out in the world again. I have lots of places that I want to, there's a new crafting shop kind of down McLeod here. Um, is it Scrap Shots? Uh, I'll have to look it up, but I was so happy because they have a location up north and now they have one down on McLeod Trail. And I definitely want to go check it out, so I'll have to look that up. Yes. I like to try and support local whenever I can. Let's put that guy right there. Uh, I seem to be putting everything on this page, but nothing on the other page. What are we going to do? Maybe this page will be more flowers. This will be the scary page, and this will kind of be the more calming page. What do you think? I don't know. The, the one on the right is a little disturbing to me. It is. It's dark, right? I don't know. So I feel like this side has to be more happy-go-lucky. Let's make it more, more happy with flowers and maybe that's what I'm feeling. I'm, I'm generally happy except for that dream disturbed me. It was dark and foreboding. Maybe that's what's going on in my mind. Kind of craft how I feel. Let's put that here. And... Put that there. Again, there's no rhyme or reason to this. We're just trying to put things down. And what else? I feel like we need some more flowers. And I'm not being too concerned as I cut. I'm just cutting. We have some flowers, we have this guy, we have some leaves. We need some more background. What do I have? Oh, this is pretty too. That's pretty. What do you think of that? Yeah, that's more on the happy positive side, right? We'll yes. That. Yeah, that's, that's not scary, is it? No. No. Alright. Have we really been streaming for 17 minutes already? Your mind says 19. 19? Oh my yeah. goodness, look at that. Well, feature that time flies when you're having fun. Ooh. 
try not to rip the paper. Um, I feel like that can go here. I want to glue this down. The best part about this is it you don't have to overthink it. Just glue it down. Uh, my orange. I figure my orange is kind of happy. Put him there. And I wanted this up here. Kind of takes the pressure off of creating something. When you just kind of embrace your inner kindergartner. Get the old glue stick. We're not having juice boxes though. Or maybe if we had a box of wine with a big old straw in it. Hey? The adult juice box. That would be nice. I could do that. I could go for an adult juice box. Um, I've already done carrots. Those are some bigger carrots. I don't think we need any more carrots. What else? I have some papers here. Maybe these have orange in them. There's more flowers. Maybe if we cut out butterfly. Maybe we cut out that big butterfly. No? Mom says no, don't do that. Okay. Always do what your mother tells you. What about... Let's take the orange from here. That's really pretty. I like how the different colors go. Maybe I'll try some ink blending that does that for a card. Maybe I'll do a, a beach scene card next time. Yeah, you like that idea? Okay. See, this, this process is not only therapeutic, but it also kind of gives me ideas of, let's just rip it, ideas of what I want to do for my next cards. Since I can't go to a beach, which I'd really love to do, I'll just create my own on a card. That's what we'll do. Gonna cover up the orange. That's okay, I don't really like the orange anyways. Let's just take them off. That's what we'll do. We'll just rip the orange right off. Put them up somewhere else. Let's put that there. I guess I could put this guy maybe over here. What else do we have? I feel like I need some texture on here. Maybe if I use one of these puffy hats, that'll give me some texture. Maybe the leaves, the leaves right there. Do the leaves first. There we go. You see two likes. Look at that. I'm just looking up now at the comments. Well, if you've popped in, make sure you say hi. The roses look pink on camera. These look more pink. They look more pink. I can glue over them. If they look too pink. Oh, they do, yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's, sorry person, I'm cutting your face out, but I just want the texture. I want, glue that there. Are both those likes from you? <laughs> Thankful I have my mom here. If it wasn't for her, I don't think I'd have anybody watching me, right? Is that what would happen? That's no one would watch me. My mom's my biggest fan. And what else do we have here? Oh, we still have this nice flower. I could put that nice flower right over top of those flowers that you think that are pink. What do you think about that, mom? Just take them right up. We haven't glued down yet. And then I'll put 
this right over top. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. Who's gonna argue with me right now? No one. I even have my like tongue hanging out like I did in kindergarten when I'm gluing. You ever do that? It's so involved, you got... Let's throw that there. How's that looking? That's better. You like that better, good. Yeah, there was just too much pink yeah. in those roses. Yeah, they're more of a pinky peach than an orange, I think. So yeah. Well, sorry flowers, off you go. What else do we have? Um, yeah, so you can see I've just really pulled different textures and things out, anything that kind of looked orange. I just pulled out and feel like this is coming along now. I kind of like that side. Maybe if I have more wine, it'll feel better. Ah, yep, yeah, that's better. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this too. Oops. Just throwing everything around. Look at this. How pretty is that? Where would I put that? I feel like I need a bigger scrapbook, maybe. Um, I also have pulled out just some regular orange, but I don't feel that that goes. Let's see what else do we have. Oh, this weird thing. Is that an armadillo? Yes, it is. It's a three-banded armadillo. Okay, let's learn about the armadillo. Not only do you get to come here and learn tips and tricks, tips and tricks, tips and tricks on busting that creative block, but let's learn about the three-banded armadillo. It has a Latin name, which I'm not even going to attempt, but size, head and body length, 30 to 40 centimeters, tail, 6 to 8 centimeters, Ooh, weight, 1.2 to 2.2 kilograms. That in pounds. I'm too pretty to do math. How do you convert that? 2.2 kilograms is one pound. So that armadillo is about a pound. Habitat, tropical deciduous forests and open dry savannas of northeastern and east central Brazil. Surviving number unknown, the population's declining. <gasps> so this guy's kind of found in Brazil. Oh, poor little bubby. Feel bad for him that his population is declining. If you would like to support the armadillo, <laughs> there is, if you would like to support me and this armadillo, there is an option that I will link later on. I should have linked it right away, but on my videos, I've started a little tip jar. So if you like the videos that you've been watching and you want to see more, you can leave me a little tip. It's like tipping your barista at Starbucks. Throw me a buck or two if you like. That helps me buy supplies. More glue sticks, because this one's almost out. So what side should I put the armadillo on? Is he kind of on the scarier side? Is it, is it scary that he's like, his population is diminishing? I kind of feel like it is. I kind of feel like his, his future is scary and unknown and he needs to be on this side. All right, what else do we have? Look at this too. I think that's pretty. I think I might save that for, I might actually use that on a different card technique. I think that's really cool how the branches and the leaves, how you're kind of looking up at it. So that gives me an idea. What would be really cool is if we used some alcohol inks, did some orange alcohol inks on a background. On camera. Mm -hmm. The center is looking more red, red and pink. Yeah. The upper and the lower are looking orangey. Yeah. But wouldn't you think it would be cool if we did um, try to recreate this and did like alcohol inks on Yupo yes. paper? Yes. And then just kind of went in with maybe some brown alcohol inks and just kind of did the squiggles. Yes. That would be kind of a cool oh, background. That would look awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to save this as part of my inspiration. Keep that to the side. Okay. All right. I don't really have a lot of room left. 
to put things on, but I'll just go through and I'll show you. We've got some goldfish. So that kind of inspires me. I know I have a stamp set from Lawn Fawn that I could use and do um, a fish tank card. Birthday fishes, right? Instead of wishes. Exactly. I'm so punny. Oh, that is cute. So that gives me some ideas. So this is just a, a, a great way to go through and really get ideas on how to make cards, what cards you have in your stash. It's really kind of getting my brain going here. So I like these geometric shapes that I've ordered a stamp set from Scrap and Stamp that's coming that has some geometric shapes in it. And uh, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and um, create something like this. Maybe I can make my own mandalas with it. That would be fun when that comes in. That hopefully will be here next week. And if you haven't checked out Scrap and Stamp, um, we had a blog hop this weekend for Valentine's Day called Puppy Love. So make sure you go ahead, uh, you can check that out on my uh, personal blog, which is linked down below. Um, just hit that arrow to go down below. And as well um, on the Scrap and Stamp blog page, I also have a video called Puppy Love that you can check that out. And there's a $50 gift certificate that you can win. All you have to do is like and comment on the posts. So yeah. So yeah, getting some really good ideas on what I want to create next. I want to do a beach scene card. I want to do some geometrics. I've got an idea here for some Yupo paper. I have a long lost lawn fawn stamp set that I can use. What else? This one's kind of cool. Some more shapes that I can use. See lots of butterflies in here. I feel like I need some words. I need some words to kind of go with how I'm feeling. Well, I feel like our happy and negative side or scary side kind of goes with pros and cons. So let's throw some pros and cons on there. Actually, I lied. I want to put that on this side. Maybe cover up that spider a little bit so he doesn't scare me as much. There we go. And then let's see. Let's use the word. What words do we have here in orange? So again, I just took a whole bunch of um, orange things, whether they're just words, how I can make them work on here. Um, I really like these orange pattern papers, but I don't feel like they go with this theme at all. So let's, if you're just popping in, make sure you say hello for the Saturday evening little block, creative block busting. I like to know what you're doing on this Saturday evening. This car was orange, but I don't think that is going to go. I feel like I just need some words. What word? I'll show you guys some other things, some different textures. I pulled out some different textures as well. Um, let's see. Got pros and cons. Let's do, I don't think hearts and whales is gonna work. Maybe planet of extremes. We are in a planet of extremes right now. You're in all the lockdowns, doing all the love. Lost my scissors. What did I do with them? There they are. Okay. So I think let's just roughly cut this out. And we'll glue it down and I think that will be that will be it. And we'll take a look at our two layout pages that we have now that I have my red page and my orange page. And then my next page that I'm going to do is yellow. And that'll kind of go along with my rainbow book that I'm starting here. All right. So let's take a look at the first layout I did. This is the one I did off camera. I did this um, a couple weeks ago. I was feeling stuck in my rut trying to get ready for Valentine's Day so I thought I'd start out with some red things and I have a cupcake I have some 
This is like a water drop in some red. I've got some red apples, have this red background that has some really interesting kind of artifacts on it, some buckles and pipes and um, this map here that I pasted sideways. I have this red kilt. Um, this is actually from the, uh, what is it? Outside of the hotel in Vegas, the Bla no, is it the Bellagio? No, which one has the fountain? I can't remember. If you guys know what, which one the fountain is outside of, all of a sudden I can't remember. It's the, yeah, the Bellagio fountain, isn't it? You wouldn't know, you haven't been to Vegas. I've been there enough times I should know. The fountain is outside of the, what is it? I think it's the Bellagio. I don't know. I was supposed to go to Vegas again last year and that would have helped. Anyways, moving on, some textures of some dried peppers here. Um, yeah. I've only been to Winnipeg. Yeah, well, you've only been to Winnipeg. Okay, so I've got to take it. Guys, we need COVID to go away so I can take my mom to Vegas, right? Like, I, I promised her I wanted to take her on a trip. I want to take her to Vegas because I think she'd have a blast. I think Vegas is not ready for my mom. I can tell you that. But um, yeah, so I kind of felt like, ugh, we have a big problem. I don't know what I'm doing. I felt lost. So those words really kind of encapsulated how I was feeling at the time. I really like this cupcake with the sprinkles on it. So again, just putting lots of red down, ripping out pages that were red. Then my orange page. Oh, I kind of like that now that I've looked away from it and come back. So yeah, today I'm kind of feeling like the pros and cons of the world. It's a planet of extremes right now. We're in extreme shutdown. I like the geometric shapes. And then we had that kind of beach thing. So yeah, this really simple, quick and fun little exercise. And this is just for me, like I said, maybe if I do create something that is mind-blowingly beautiful, um, I can cut it out and make it into a card or do something more crafty with it. But I think for now, this is just kind of for me to get all those creative blocks kind of out of the way and just kind of remind me of certain stamp sets that I have and different ways I can use them. And like, I totally forgot about my alcohol inks. So it's, I'm glad that I did this process. So let me know what you guys think of this whole creative block busting project and if it's something that you'd be willing to do. I thank you so much for watching. If you've joined us live, thank you so much for watching live. And yeah, hopefully I'll do some more lives in the future now that I know that I can get it working. And yeah, thanks mom for joining me today on my little crafting adventure. Thank you very much for having me. Well, I couldn't like not have you here. That would be rude. I'd be like, no, stay upstairs and go on live. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me today. And we'll catch you on my next video. Hey, P.S. I love you. <laughs>